Hello everyone and welcome back to another A Very Nice Chess Game from 1937 by George Koltonowski who is playing with the white pieces and his opponent is the Irish chess champion John O'Hanlon. So let's check out what happened in this chess game. This is another A Massey Chess Game. D4 by Koltonowski, D5, Knight to F3, Knight to F6, E3 and he is playing the call system which he was an expert about the call system he wrote an important book about this opening so e6 bishop to d3 c5 and we see the pyramid system and knight from b to d2 is the iconic move of the call system so white is planning to push the e pawn bishop to d6 and both players castled capturing capturing an e4 as planned and later white is also going to develop his dark square bishop queen to e7 queen to e2 centralizing the rook pushing the pawn knight back Attacking the bishop, defending, developing the bishop, also defending the e-pawn and asking a question if capturing the pawn, queen takes bishop. Centralizing the rook and exchanging the material and maybe in this position black was expecting bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, queen takes pawn, queen takes queen, rook takes queen and so on. Exchanging the material and we are playing chess. Life is, life is fine for black. <laughs> what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? It's not that simple. Life is not that simple. Also in chess. So if I give you a couple of seconds, can you guess the next move? The best move for white. What would you do? Let me let me give you three seconds so that maybe maybe you can try to find the next move of white. Maybe you see the move. But if you need more time, let me give you 3 seconds to pause the video from now on. 1, 2 and 3. Koltonowski aimed on h7 and then he fired the bishop. Bishop takes on h7. What a shot by Koltonowski. But not capturing the bishop, we have king to f8. What happens if capturing the bishop? This is beautiful because if king takes on h7, then queen to h5 check, king to g8 and then bank, capturing the rook and this is losing. So king to f8 and then bishop to g6 by Koltonowski invading the very important diagonals and the bishop is controlling very important light squares. Black is, black is in big trouble so defending the rook, of course you can take the bishop with the knight because bishop takes queen, so rook to d8 and queen in. The queen is coming for the attack. King to e7 escaping. Knight joins the attack. Bishop to d7. Well, out of the blue. Koltonowski played another incredible move. He aimed on e5 with the rook and he fired the rook. Rook takes on e5. What a shot by Koltonowski. Well, his opponent is not a weak chess player, by the way. His opponent was an Irish chess champion, a very important player at the time. Capturing the rook, capturing back. Defending the queen. And as you can see, the bishops is dominating the position. But now queen check on the move. But now checking the king with the bishop. Bishop to d6. And on the move. And here comes queen to h7. Checkmate. What an incredible chess game by George, by George Koltonowski. Okay, so I hope that you found, you have found the important key moves at the key moment of this chess game. So finally, basically black is getting for checkmated and there is no reasonable defense for black. And thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.